Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about broccoli and how to select the best fresh broccoli that you can and how to store it when you get it home. When you're at the store, you want to look for bright green heads of broccoli with tightly clustered florets. The more open the florets are, the older that plant is. And you want the florets to be uniformly colored a deep green color. If they are yellowing to some degree, that's an older plant and you want to try to pick one that's more all deep green than that. You want to look at the stalks and you want to make sure that they are firm and not flimsy in any way. If they are on, on the softer rubbery side, that plant is starting to dehydrate some and try to find one that's not so dehydrated like that. Also, broccoli should feel kind of heavy for its size. It won't hurt you to pick it up and just test it out. Does it feel heavy for its size? If it does not, it's on the dehydrated side, not very well filled out. Look for a better specimen. If there are still some leaves attached to the, to the head of the broccoli, that's great. Look for colorful, vibrant green, fresh looking leaves, not ones that are all wilted looking. When you get your broccoli home, you don't want to wash it until you're ready to use it. So you want to store it unwashed. You definitely want to store it in the refrigerator. And at the grocery store, you've probably put it in a disposable plastic bag. You can just put that right in the refrigerator if you plan on using it quickly. Okay, if you want to keep that broccoli for a while, I suggest that you don't store it in there. Why? Broccoli has a lot of water content to it and as it ages it will start to release some of that liquid. And if it's sitting in a plastic bag like that and it comes in a lot of contact with that liquid without a lot of air reaching it, it might invite it to turn moldy and you don't want that. So what I like to do with fresh broccoli is put it in a container all its own, line that container with either a clean cloth or some paper towels, just on the bottom is enough, and then put your broccoli in there and, and make sure there's a little air space around it, put the lid on it, put it in the refrigerator. It keeps really well for me that way. Now, why the cloth or the paper towel? As that broccoli sits in there and it oozes out some of its water, Rather than having that water accumulate along the sides of the container, which might invite it to rain in the container and invite that broccoli to spoil, that cloth or the paper towel will absorb that moisture and it will help to maintain a humid environment in that container rather than a wet environment for the broccoli to sit in. And the humidity is good because it helps to maintain the moisture in the broccoli but sitting in a puddle of water is not good because it will invite it to spoil. So I have found that broccoli and a lot of other vegetables will keep very well that way. If you go to use your broccoli and you find that it's gotten on the limp side, soak it in a bowl of cold water for about 10 minutes or so and then proceed from there. Wash it and then cut it up as you want to do. But when you soak it in the cold water, it should help to firm it back up. Well, I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.